I'm just happy to be able to learn again and all that all that that's happening. Was it very <laughs> it was, yeah, it was unnecessary. It was that was just too much. And perhaps too soon for students after last Friday's shooting inside Douglas High. Wednesday's shortened school day came as no surprise to the head of the city's teachers union. She says based on what she witnessed, staff members were in no emotional shape to hold classes. Right now they're very upset. They're still very upset about what happened on Friday. Um, worried about the safety, worried about people who need, still need time to process what happened. The city school CEO says it was always the district's plan to gradually allow students and staff back into the building and agrees it was the right call after a campus-wide meeting. Staff still had a lot of apprehension, and it's understandable, uh, particularly as some of, you know, um, the details have come out. I think, you know, staff had a lot of the same questions you're asking. Even with extra police on hand and a team of trained school counselors, some parents are still concerned. I hope it doesn't happen again. I might be taking a different step. I really think that they need to determine what's going to be the security for these kids Per, after this, because this is it's ridiculous. That shouldn't have never happened. It's still not clear if the school will return to normal hours come Thursday. We pray that nothing else happens again, but no one is in an emotional state really to be in, in that environment today. They really are not. Now again, Douglas is closed tomorrow for students. Staff will have to report here, and we're being told that counseling will be available here at Douglas. Live at Douglas High School, Tim Tutin, WBAL, TV 11 News. All right.